mom and dad are jumping for joy here at Chase Field. Wow! Garcia Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball toward short. Russell goes to Baez one over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. The 2 2. Line drive, base hit. Souza cannot cut it off. It'll go to the wall. Gardner will score. A runs at second. He has an RBI double. And the Yankees have tied the game at one. Drake delivers as a drive to right field. Hit deep. Back by the bullpen gate. It goes and it is gone. Stubbs, the right field that jumped and couldn't get it just to the right of the 380 foot marker. David Ortiz ties Mickey Mantle with his 536 home run. MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. Game two of the World Series between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Mets. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. season is officially in full swing lineups and first pitch coming up next the crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci and now your 2017 New York Mets. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Dan Plesak, who are you focused on? Well, there aren't a lot of guys with the talent and determination of Dustin Pedroia. You can bet the opposition spent a decent amount of time crafting a game plan to stop this guy because as he goes, so goes the team. You stop him, you've got a chance to win. You don't, you're probably going to lose. Jacob DeGrom will be on the bump for game two of the series. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, he's one of these guys that's going to battle. He sticks around the game long enough where you pick up a win like he did last outing. Only given up one run, but he stayed in the game and he got the W. Maybe we'll see that type of performance from him today because he's that type of pitcher. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the shift, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the shift applied very often this club. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. the windup the 1 1 pitch softly hit out to short and this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit so chalk that one up as In an E6 and he really can't believe it out there Xander here's Xander Bogarts now in previous duels with the Grom hitless in three at bats two balls and a strike here it comes fly ball out to straightaway right 
Conforto will settle under it to make the play for the first down as the runner will have to head back to first. Batting third, right fielder, Mookie Betts. Here's Mookie Betts. First swings for him in this one with the runner still at first and one gone. Drilled to the right side. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, that that's a fourth. tough one right there. If first that falls at somebody, probably a double Ramirez. play. But as a result, it's one of those seeing eye singles. Just found the hole. Stepping in now, Hanley Ramirez. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. This is a situation, Matt, where they can really redeem themselves. Look, they lost by one run last game. Really tough to get past. But you got to throw that out right here, right now is the time to turn it around. And this big half inning can do it. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. We'll see if he can feed off that K, wiggle out the jam, and keep this game tied. Coming to the plate now, Andrew Benintendi. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Trying to hang a zero, here's the pitch. Hit down the line at first. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location. Right down the middle, but he got away with it. Full count, here it comes. Line to the right side, and that's in there. Base hit, the throw home. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Well, they get the two-out RBI, but I go back to that air earlier in the inning that set the whole inning up. And the way it's playing out right now, that may really hurt them. Into the box, Chris Young. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. The one and two pitch and a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base and after a good start to the inning they can't capitalize any further. A run on two hits in the inning for Boston. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Red Sox one and the Mets nothing. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins Mets starting lineup in this one. What's this club need to focus on this evening H. Well, Matt, they find themselves already down one. The big thing here, realize you got a lot of game left. Just score one run. Try to get right back in the game, even it up, and play the whole nine innings. You can't just play part of the game, play the whole game. David Price is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, it was one of those tough games for him last out, and he pitched eight full innings and did not get a decision. So that tells me he's on his game right now. Let's see if he's going to be able to execute again in this particular ball game. OK, let's take a look at the defense for the Boston Red Sox brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking down at third base, Pablo Sandoval. You know, he's an interesting story. When he first came up, I don't know many people realized he was a catcher. Then they converted him to third base because he had those cat-like reflexes that could cover everything. He's got a little slower as he's gotten older, but there's still a little genie in the bottle. Let's see if he can open it. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. The two two coming now from Price. Line drive to left. 
Benintendi has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Standing in now as Drupal Cabrera. And he takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run things full. And set up behind the plate, Rusty Valentine, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Matt, my man, Rusty Valentine. I just like saying the name, Rusty Valentine. Okay, I'm supposed to talk about what he calls. Look, he's a little accurate on the corners. He's not going to give me much. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Solo shot here to left. His first homer so far in the series as the Mets have come back to tie things at one. Well, his offense spotted him a run in the top of the inning, and he just gave it right back. That's what happens when you plant one in a hitter's wheelhouse. Sent out of here in a hurry. Into the box now, Michael Conforto. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Matt, this could be a real special end. They've already hit a home run here, and now the real power is starting to come to the plate. We might be in for a light show. He's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Here's the one and two delivery. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that's in there, base hit. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. That ball is above the zone. He got his hands on top of it. The old tomahawk. They got a base hit out of it. In now, Joanna Cespedes swinging a high pop up. Could be tough back behind third. Under it is Sandoval, and there's the second out. Batting fifth, first baseman, Wilmer Flores. to send him packing pitch on its way and a fastball called strike three and the side is retired but the Mets are able to square things up on this solo home run second inning coming up all even now at 1-1 here's the panda now Pablo Sandoval he'll get us started in the top of the second From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Batting eight, catcher, Blake Schweimar. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher, Blake Schweihart.
Here it comes on one and one. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. And he'll get in there safely. Well, there's a one out and field single. And you know what? You can start a lot of rallies with one out. He was hustling down the line. If you're pitching, you think, golly, that was so unlucky. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Bun attempt is popped into foul ground. And good awareness behind the plate as he'll make the quick basket catch for the second out. Now batting number 15, second baseman Dustin Pedroia. Striding into the box, Dustin Pedroia. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a ball pulled foul into the lower level and left. Here's the one and two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Cespedes is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. We'll go to the bottom of the second, tied at one. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He'll be the one to lead it off against David Price here in the inning. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Young is there. One down. Batting seven. Catcher. Rene Rivera. So striding in, Rene Rivera. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. The next three, two. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. I know one thing, he earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and threw the walk. Here's Juan Ligares. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. The 1-1 one, one from Price. Two and one. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. No Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's 3 and 1. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Looked like he might have got it squeezed a little bit right there. And you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too.
stepping in now. Jacob DeGrom. Now a bunt attempt here. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. The shortstop, number seven, Jose Reyes. Digging in for his second at bat, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Runners at second and third with two gone. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, man, I tell you, that looked like a good pitch right there. That looked like that pitch was in the zone. He just missed it. Price pauses. Here it is on two and one. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. And a full count now, three and two. You know, this isn't a ballpark that yields a lot of runs. So when you've got a chance like this to put some early runs on the board, it becomes really important to do so. Full count, here it comes. Got a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. Into the second deck and gone. So a three-run blast is straight away left. His first homer here in the series. And the Mets open things up here. It's now four to one. And you can see why they love this guy. He's a leadoff guy with some serious pop. And he pounces on this mistake and knocked it right out of here. Into the box as Dribble Cabrera. Aye. Fastball called strike. One and two. <laughs> Set to deal on a ball and two strikes hit the other way out toward right field. Betts has a read on it and that's the third out. But the Mets strike for three all coming courtesy of this three run home run. We play two. It's now a four to one Mets lead. Digging in Xander Bogarts 0 for one here in the early going. Had gone in there one and two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Now that was a good pitch to lay off. When it starts on the outside half of the plate, that slider right there, you know it's going to continue to run off the plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting, right fielder, Mookie Betts. Ready for another chance? Mookie Betts, a base hit in his first trip. Four to one's our score here in inning number three. Hit on the ground to third. Wright's got it. Throw gets him, two down. Hey, not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Digging in to try it again. Hanley Ramirez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. A little bit off the outside. It's 1 and 2. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. They trail it four to one.
with Harold Reynolds, Dan Plesak, Matt Vaskersian as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. One and two, here it comes. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. On the run is Benintendi. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the inning. The well, that was certainly 52. a tough play and Your worth taking another look with show track. Seemed to get a pretty good read off the bat, carved out a nice route, and ended up covering over 110 feet to make the play. I'm sure he's happy with himself about that one. Into the box now, Joanna Cespedes. And that misses two and one. Well, it's two and one now, and we haven't seen a fastball from him in this at bat yet. As a hitter, you've probably got to sit on that right now. Here's the two one from Price. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Oh, Matt, look, it's real simple. If you're going to throw the ball down the middle in the big leagues, you're going to get hammered. He's got to put the ball in the corner if he wants to have any chance. The pitch. Here's Cespedes with a drive. That's high and deep to left field. Out of here. A solo shot, and they add another. A solo home run here off the bat of Yoenis Cespedes. His first homer so far in the series as they stretch the lead to 5 1. Wow, nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. Looped out toward third. In time to first, and there are two away. Well executed two seamer on the outside hey, corner that time and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch he rolled right over it. Stepping in and ready for another shot David Wright so far 0 for 1 with a fly out. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. But the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. Three complete from City Field. It's the Mets five and the Red Sox one. Now at the plate, Andrew Benintendi as we begin the top of the fourth. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Ligaris racing back at the track. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The center fielder, Chris Young. At the plate, Chris Young. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. This is lined to left, and he's able to reach down and put this one away. Great concentration there for the, the second out. 48, first baseman, Pablo Sandoval. Riding in once again, Pablo Sandoval comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. 
Now here's the pitch. Hard hit to first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him, a base hit. That's a tremendous at bat. Saw a bunch of pitches, saw basically everything he throws, and then got a base hit to right field. Can't ride it any better. In now, Blake Swihart, as he sends it on the ground to first. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Breaking his heart, Matt. Breaking his heart. You got two quick outs. He's thinking he's going to cruise through this thing. And now look at him. Boom, boom. Base hits coming back at you. That's why you have to complete the inning. Into the box, David Price. Swing and a miss as he ran that in on him. A ball and two strikes. Well, he's got himself in a little bit of a jam, but I tell you what, he does as good a job as anybody. First and second, two outs. Now watch how he pitches on the corners and tries to get himself out of this. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit out towards second. Cabrera's there. And the throw to first will be in time, so the Red Sox come up empty, and the inning is over. Boston strands a couple. They're down here five to one. play Rene Rivera no official at bat for him but he has scored a run in this one the 1-1 one -one from Price and he's a little too high with that one two balls and a strike Here's the 2 1 from Price. Yeah. Called strike two. A 2 and 2 count. Here's the pitch. And this is swung on and missed. And this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. Nice two seam fastball there. You don't usually see a lot of swings and misses with that pitch unless it's really moving. So that one must have had some real good late life. Stepping in now, Juan Ligares. In there, one and two now. 5 1 our score as we play the fourth here. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Jacob DeGrom. So stepping in, Jacob DeGrom. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. Price gets his sign, ready with the 1-1 pitch. Outside, 2-1. and one. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. Five runs on only four hits. One error in the game for the Mets thus far. 2-1 pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. All even at two and two. Here it is. And this is going to be a foul ball. The two two one more time. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. So we'll go a little deeper into the bottom of the fourth as that extends the inning. You always hear about position players Touch grinding right out at bats. Number That's seven. the pitcher grinding okay. one out. That's a special, right. special at bat when he can do that to the opposing pitcher and wear him down. Standing in now, Jose Reyes. A little bit outside, two and one. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go.
Here's the 2 1. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the 2 and 2 count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. The 2 2 coming now from Price. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Betts has a play, and the inning is over. Mets strand one. They lead this one, though, five to one. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they faced. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Digging in once again, Xander Bogarts. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Hits are even right now at five aside. Liner towards second. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. I always believe the best hitters are the ones that can stay on the ball and use the whole field. Right there is a perfect example. A ball away, he stays with it and shoots it the opposite direction. In now, Mookie Betts. Line drive to center field. Lagares patrolling center makes the play one out. Now batting the first baseman, Henley Ramirez. Here's the left fielder, Henley Ramirez. Going to strike out victim twice in this one. And this is fouled at the plate. Runners are at first and second with one away. Hit back up the middle. Backhanded. Reyes relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. once again as Dribble Cabrera he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Some action out in the bullpen couple of right handers starting to loosen up. From the windup the one one pitch. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like a stomach high fastball, so he's probably not throwing that one again. Ready to deliver the one and two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Swihart has it, and he makes the throw to first. Cabrera is retired, and there's one away. Stepping in, Michael Conforto. A hit in two tries so far. Here's the 0 and 2. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. On to first, and the price is right here, two away. The left fielder number 52, Yoannis Cespedes. Here's Yoannis Cespedes. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. It's a 5 1 game here in inning number five. 
Two and two. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Another 2-2 offering. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Wilmer Flores would be next. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Lazy fly ball out to center field. And Young will make the catch, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. They're up five to one. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. He's one for two in the ball game. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Into the box now, Chris Young as he hits one on a line to left field. And that finds some outfield grass, it's a base hit. Looked like he was sitting on the hard stuff right there. Stayed right on it. Stayed with it. Hard line drive. Great Pablo game plan. Sandoval. Here's the panda now. Pablo Sandoval. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. One and one, here it is. And he couldn't get on top of it as this has popped up behind shortstop. And this is taken in by Reyes for out number two. Now batting. Catcher. Blake Swihart. Digging in to try it again. Blake Swihart. Two base hits, both singles to this point. He's go, set. Go. Here comes the one one. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And it's not going to be in time to get Young a stolen base. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Here's the one and two delivery. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. One left for the Red Sox. They're down five to one. Tyler Thornburg enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 47, Tyler Thornburg. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Wilmer Flores. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Grounded back up the middle. Gloved by Bogarts. Throw on to first in time, one away. Well, third baseman, number five, David Wright. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. Lifetime numbers against Thornburg. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. We're in the sixth inning now of a 5-1 ball game. 
And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball. A high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Stepping in now, Rene Rivera. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. The one and two pitch. Fouled straight back. Five runs, five hits. One error in the game for the Mets thus far. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They lead this one, though, 5-1. to one. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. It's on to the seventh now in game two, but before we start, there's a look at our game summary to this point. Your Brock Holt late. is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start number inning number Brock. seven. Brock Holt. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. On the ground up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit. So a great job off the bench, and he's aboard here to lead off the inning. Well, it looks like just a ground ball base hit, and the box team. scores. But, Second man, that ball is hit hard up the Goya. middle. He's going to do well for himself. He stays consistent and keeps that approach. Standing in now, Dustin Pedroia. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Well, with the leadoff man getting on right there, Matt, they are falling so far behind, they have to capitalize. They have to get some runs to get back in this thing. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit hard on the ground to second, and Pedroia's got himself a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, another single. Now they're first and second. They've been swinging the bat great all day, but they haven't come up with the big hit to break an inning open. Maybe that's coming. Digging in and looking for more, Xander Bogarts. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Seventh inning here in a five to one ball game. And it looks now like a right hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. Oh, he hung him one right there. Curveball right down the middle. Those balls go a long way. He must have been looking for something else. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Here's another one, two. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. He's thrown a lot of pitches already, and man, this is a long A-B. This at bat, when you look back at it, might be the one that takes him out of the game. Now here's a swing and a high pop-up drifting into shallow right field. And Cabrera will take this one for the first out. Now batting right fielder, Mookie Betts. Ready for another shot now, Mookie Betts. 
He's working on a one for three thus far. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Cespedes going back on it to the track. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batting the first baseman, Henley Ramirez. Here's the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. The 0-2 delivery. And a neck high fastball that time. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0 and 2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. Two men are on with two men out. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. And a fair ball as this one gets to the wall. And the run's going to score as they inch back a bit closer. It's now a 5 2 ball game. Never say never in this game, folks. It's late and the clock is ticking. But that RBI double Andrew might start making Vinny believers Vinny. out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Hansel Robles will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seven. In now, Andrew Benintendi. And this is fouled back and out of play. He's set and the one two pitch. And another foul ball. Second and third, two away. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. Red Sox strike for a run on the RBI double. Get up and stretch. It's the Mets five and the Red Sox two. Addison Reed gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Addison Reed. Here's Juan Lagares. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now here's the pitch. Sharp ground ball to third. Sandoval fields it cleanly. A quick out number one. The pitcher number 47. Ansel Robley. Brandon Nimmo will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number nine. Brandon. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander is up and throwing. Hold high in the air out to right field. Betts has a read on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The shortstop, number seven, Jose Reyes. Jose Reyes. We'll stand in as we'll flash you back to the second inning as you get a look at this key three run home run. Five two, our score as we play inning number seven. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Betts has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets go down one, two, three. 
and it remains five to two. has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 67, Seth Here's Chris Young. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Hit hard to short. Oh, what a stop on the slide. What a play. Well, that was certainly worth another look with show track. He made that play look easy, but the sliding stop is anything but. Then he rifles the ball across the infield to complete the out. Just a great play all the way around. Striding in once again, Pablo Sandoval. He flew out in his last at bat. We're in the eighth inning now of a five to two ball game. Swing and a liner. Foul. Oh, he saw that change up really nice. He just wasn't able to keep it fair. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. For the shortstop, Reyes. Throw on the first is in time to get Sandoval, and there are two gone now. Now batting. Catcher. Late. And that'll bring in the speedy catcher Blake Swihart. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Two out, nobody on. He took something off of it there. It's one and two. Ready on one and two. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Another one two delivery. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Red Sox go down 1-2-3. They trail 5-2. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Carson Smith will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Sandy Leone will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Sandy Leone. Ready once again as Dribble Cabrera. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Looks like he was trying to bust him inside and he might have held on to it just a little bit too long. Just like that, the leadoff man is aboard. Ready for another chance? Michael Conforto. He was a ground out victim last time up.
A runner at first with no outs here. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. Ready with the one and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Sandoval near the bag at third. One away. The left fielder number 52, Yoannis Cespedes. Stepping into the box, Yoannis Cespedes. He homered back in the third inning in this one. There goes Cabrera. This one's down to third. Oh, look at Sandoval. It's there. He got him. And here's another look at that highlight real play with Showtrack. He didn't have a lot of time to react, but he made a beautiful diving stop. And then you see the good hard throw across the diamond to record the out. Nice work. Digging in once again, Wilmer Flores. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. and two here it comes this is on the ground over to first and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over Mets leave one they're still out in front five to two Jerry Spamilia comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth Digging in the switch hitter, Sandy Leon. He's the one to start off the ninth inning with his guys in danger of going down two games to none if they can't rally. One and one, here it comes. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. Cespedes is there, one away. Now batting number 15, second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Stepping up now, Dustin Pedroia. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Foul back. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. On the ground to third. Glove by right. Throw on the first will take care of Pedroia, and there are two away. With shortstop number two, Xander Walker. In now, Xander Bogarts. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Towards second. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him. And the Mets have held serve here at home. They take games one and two of this series as this one is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about, and they definitely did that right here, coming through with a big win at home.
And fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. And Maddie, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition. to the final score tonight. New York get the win to jump out to a two games to nothing series lead. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Five runs on five hits. One error. They left three men on base. For the Red Sox, two runs, ten hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. Line drive left field. That's it. Number 1,000 for Jose Altuve. And he's going to jam on the brakes and get back to first. 1,000 hits with number three tonight. Fastest Astro ever to 1,000. Tenth inning, 3-3. Dodgers and Rockies. 0-1.